Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here in this video. I've got your gameplay for the F2 G1 Super Corsair. This is a currently rank 4 battle rating 6.0 fighter in the American Air Tech Tree. And this vehicle is just one of the more special vehicles in War Thunder because this comes from the first season of Battle Pass. And not only that, but it was a free reward during that season. So everybody who played during that season had access to this for free, which is just fantastic. And it's a damn shame that they don't do that more often. Now that being said, as I pretty much already mentioned, this is the Super Corsair, which basically means that it is a Corsair just a little bit built up. I mean, it's more or less the same airframe as a Corsair, but it does have the 4360 Wasp Major from Pratt & Whitney, which is a fantastic engine. It's absolutely gigantic, as you could see. I mean, like, this is huge for a prop engine, but it is very fast. And you might be saying to yourself, well, it's only got six 50 cals, but the thing is, those 50 cals come equipped with tracer belts that are purely incendiary tracers which means that these pretty much set everybody that it hits on fire so that being said let's go ahead and get into a few matches put this thing down i am so stoked this is one of my favorite again vehicles because it reminds me of a time when gaijin was a touch more generous than they are now so that being said let's get into it now one of the great things about this vehicle one of the cool facts about it rather is the fact that this is actually a good year aircraft that's right this is actually developed by the company Goodyear, which is something a lot of people don't know. Um, and it's, I think there were only about a half dozen of these, give or take, that were made prior to the end of World War II. And they weren't accepted into service simply because World War II ended. There wasn't really much of a need for them at that point, and they just decided to continue to use their regular Corsairs already in inventory. So we have this JU-288, for whatever reason, doing these funky maneuvers. Line himself up for my tracer belts pretty well. Can I get a hit? I can. Got a crit. I will let that one slide, however, because I am not in the business of doing whatever the heck he wants me to do following him. So I got this guy here. Is he just going to crash into me? Oh, I got the kill. Very nice. Let's see if I can set these engines on fire. Yes, I... Oh, it doesn't even matter. I got the kill. I still have the vast majority of my fuel left. So, actually, believe it or not, the Super Corsair, this is a racing camouflage, and this is still being flown today, if I'm not mistaken. I think a Super Corsair still exists, and it's flown during air races, which is really, like, awesome that, uh, you know, it's a flying piece of history. And, you know, like I said, I mean, this is pretty much the pinnacle of, um, of Corsair design. So we have an A6M5. I'm wondering who he's looking at because he is just... I should be able to set him on... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These... So Japanese planes, if you guys don't know, Japanese planes uh, are very common to catch on fire. Oh, what's this guy doing? I don't know. It's like, do people line these shots up for me on purpose? I, I like, really want to finish them off, but I know i got a Spitfire somewhere near me. So... I'm just going to dive out of the way. Uh, I'm going to go for this A6M5 here. Try to catch him on fire a touch. Got a crit. Works for me. Pull up a touch. Okay, get out of there. And I am dead. But four really, really quick kills. Uh, got an assist. Nice. Ooh, might I be able to actually get this FW190? Eh, I'll take the hit. So that being said, not too bad. Four kills, one assist in like... Two assists in like three minutes of gameplay. And I think I hit one other person, and so I might be able to have another assist there. I'm not sure if I got the other hit. That being said, really, really good first match to start this thing off. And like I said, this thing sets people on fire. I love this plane. Great performance, great guns. Let's get into the next match. Okay, we have ourselves a Sterling up here. I probably won't have enough juice to take him out. Uh, because I'm going to have to gain a lot of altitude before I can even really uh, approach him. Ooh, I set him on fire. Ain't that something? Okay, I'm just going to let that one slide a little bit. And I got the assist? Oh, you know what? It must have been the, uh, the F-82 who set him on fire. I wouldn't be surprised if he had stealth belts. But that said, let's just go ahead and dive down here. My engine is overheating a touch, but it is no matter. Um, hmm... I want to go for that Tempest, but I'll just go for this A7 here because he is making himself into an easy target. 
And like an easy target would, he got himself on fire. Go for this A6M5 now. Um, let's see. Can I... Ooh, that was ugly. But I caught him on fire, got that kill. The other one is still alive. Somehow. Uh, let's see if I can put him out of his misery. Ah, man, this Yak-9. If he gets it, I would be so upset. But I could totally understand if he actually takes that kill. Ah, you know what? As much as I'm a little bit upset there, ultimately a kill, for the most part, like, I don't... I'm not grinding through the American air tech tree, right? It's a stat line for me. He got the kill, fair and square. If that guy was still on fire, I'd be a little bit upset. But he was not on fire, and thus, he was still very obviously a threat that could have stuck around for longer than he did. So, I cannot be upset with that. Good kill on his part, and a lot of misses on my part. So, let's go ahead and climb, and uh, hopefully we can get something here. But not too bad. First match, I had four kills, two assists. Yeah, four kills, two assists. This match, I've got... Uh, is this guy diving on me? This match, I got one kill, two assists thus far. And I still have a whole bunch of ammo left. That's one of the great things about 50 cals, by the way. It's just tons of ammunition. Uh, so I'm going to go for this A6M5 over here. Assuming he's still going to be alive. Not entirely sure, but he is diving down quite heavy. Got a crit. If he dies because of me, then he dies because of me. If he doesn't, then that's fine. So I got three assists. So thus far, I've gotten four kill... No. Five kills, five assists in my first two matches. Holy cow. Not bad at all. And anyone who who puts shame on, on assists, you know, shame on you. Because assists mean that there's one less of them. And uh, that is a good thing for us. You know, we really can't be picky, in my opinion, about whether we get a kill or an assist. Because really, you're only losing a few Typically, only a, maybe like one or two hundred points, right? So it's not too big of a deal. So I'm going to go for this A6M5. Probably going to go for that JU-288. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. But I still have plenty of ammunition to take both of them out. So I'm pretty happy. Plus, look at the speed of this thing. 550 plus kilometers per hour um, at low altitude. Not bad. Just wish this guy was paying attention a little bit more. Okay, got a crit on him. Now, if if someone steals my kill, I'm going to be kind of upset because this, at this point, he's on fire. He's known to be my kill, and that would be totally not cool. Okay, there we go. At that point, it becomes a little bit like, what the heck, you know? But I can't really complain too much. I think that JE-288 crashed. So, uh, that said, I think we're going to want to get to another match here, but I've gotten two kills, two uh, anti-vehicle kills and, of course, three assists thus far. And barring any further action, we'll get into another match. Real quick, by the way. These are quick, fast, good, fun matches. I know I'm right next to their base. I'm about to get lit up with anti-aircraft fire. But this guy is the last guy on their team. He's got no points. So I'm going to go for the kill. Hopefully I can get it. Okay, probably should have started firing sooner, but no biggie. Got the kill. Ended the match. Three kills, three assists, four ground kills. That is how we do thus far. I Did I die in the first match? I forget. Anyways, let's get into one final match, see what we can do. But this is quick hits, man. Quick hits. So I know I haven't really gone over it much in this video thus far, but somebody did mention it once some time ago where I used to kind of go over strengths, weaknesses, and all that of planes more often than I do now. So, that said, let's kind of get into the strengths and weaknesses of this before we close out this gameplay. Now, first and foremost, the performance on this vehicle is fantastic. I mean, it's got such an incredibly powerful engine, like 3,000 plus horsepower. It's pretty much just that mounted on a, uh, on a more or less true-to-form Corsair uh, body. You know, it's got the gold wings, all that. Uh, second, this thing has fantastic armament. Again, when you can get those late war tracer belts, it is king. Absolutely, probably one of the best MG belts in game. Uh, doesn't matter if you are 1BR or 12.0BR, 
You will set enemies on fire like no one's business. It is fantastic. Not that there are machine guns really at, uh, at higher BRs, but again, just something worth noting. I'm going to go for this TU too. Now, when it comes to weaknesses, I think this plane, if I'm not mistaken, I mean, I haven't been shot down today <laughs> with it. Um, I probably will be, though, this match. But it does... I, I don't think it's got the, the strongest airframe ever. So I'm going to go for this Tupolev 2. Then I'm going to go for that Ju-288. Let's see. Can I hit him? Set him on fire. Got some hits. Set him really on fire. Holy cow. Ooh, buddy. Here we go. This is not an ideal scenario for me. But as long as I can set him on fire, I will be mildly happy. Oh, buddy, he is on fire and then some. Perfect. Got myself a kill and assist. Now, the maneuverability on this plane is really, really good. I mean, are there really any major weaknesses? I mean, to be honest, can you guys think of any real weaknesses on this plane? Because off the top of my head, I don't know if I can. I mean, one could argue that this doesn't have um, higher performing, like, better um, guns. And I could see that. You know, genuinely, I could see that being an issue for some people. But I think that when you equip these 50s with the tracer belts, it kind of solves the problem, especially when there are so many Japanese planes that don't have sealed tanks. I mean, it becomes pretty easy just to set them on fire and that's it. You know, so in general, I don't really know. Are there any major weaknesses of this aircraft? Um, I might... Hmm. Okay, that I-225, he's he's probably got that A6M5 covered. So, I'm going to go for this N1K because he's going for that F-82, which will not be able to outmaneuver him by any means. So, it's all about picking your fights, although, ah, he took... I think he killed that guy back there. No biggie. Let's go ahead and start firing on him right about now. Should be able to get some crit. Very nice. Fly away from him a touch. He's going to try to chase me. Maybe not. I was thinking he would. But he's still going for that F-82 for whatever reason. Now he's turning in on me. Uh, can I get a few hits? Okay. Set him on fire. Perfect. There we go. We got him caught on fire. And that is the big trick with this aircraft. Go for the enemies also that you know are weak to your plane. Right? Like, if you got those tracer belts, prioritize attacking Japanese planes and then some. Okay, I thought he was going to dive uh, a little bit lower. Okay, this is not good at all. So, I'm going to want to fly away. Oh, good. We got someone behind me. So, I'm going to turn around uh, in a second. But I'm going for this guy here first. Okay, let's see if I can set him on fire. Probably... Okay, this guy to be my end, I think. Maybe not. So, this guy is going to die, I'm assuming. Put them flaps on. My oil is overheated, unfortunately. This guy is still alive, but I think he's going to crash. So, if he crashes, that's three kills. And can I turn in time? i got my flaps on, I think. Yes, I do. Got him. Very nice. Man. And I'm still not dead. Like, literally, all three of these matches have been consecutive. Now, I think I might die here if that guy notices me. Because my engine is about to die, and I'm going in for this DO-335. But to have however many kills in a row, man, I am not upset with that. So we have... Okay, yep. I'm, I got him on fire! There we go! Look at that! <laughs> wow! Wow! Holy guacamole! <sighs> Three, literally, three consecutive matches where I've gotten, what, four kills, two assists, three kills, three assists, and now, four kills, one assist, but likely a fifth kill. Wow. Let's just wait until the end of this, because I want to see, and then, then I'll give my closing remarks. I'll just skip forward to the... Okay, there we go. Two assists. So, four kills, two assists, pretty much a, you know, a recreation of that first match. So, wow. Wow. Talk about a freaking beast of a plane. There we go. The Super Corsair F2G1. So that said, thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Three matches in a row. 
some of the best three match performance I've ever played in War Thunder recording or not. It's been fantastic. Take care, everyone.